so now uh, let us start this actual So I'm just putting all the three types of costing in a table, actual costing, normal costing, and standard costing. These are the three types of costing which you kind of uh, consider, okay, to uh, like assign cost to cost objects. So three methods. of assigning cost to cost objects okay these are the three uh, like uh, costing methods and these three differ in uh, so so like how they differ so product costs are assigned in three different ways in this how see to make a particular product we require direct material correct then we require direct labor then we require manufacturing overhead so what are we doing here i'll just give you a good example also let me bring this in a columnar way so in actual costing you take actual direct material okay the the material what you are considering raw material you are considering is actual because actual costing is what when you uh, are like actually making the product or producing the product in actuality like actually how much material you use to make that product is what it matters under actual costing they don't believe in estimations they don't believe in any kind of pre uh, like determinant uh, pre determining anything correct so they only believe in how much material in actuality you are using or actually you are using to make the product normal costing is also to some extent they also like take actual material what we use but standard costing since it is the costing whose premise is uh, like uh, to estimate okay or make the standards uh, so that actual can be compared with it because without standard uh, as a base uh, like you cannot do the variance analysis that means if, if you don't forecast things in advance then how will you know whether uh, like uh, what uh, like expenditure you are incurring in the future is uh, more than you have estimated or less than you have estimated so for actual standard is required okay so we take budgeted and i have to tell you if i speak about total amount it's budget it's called budgeted if i speak about per unit uh, price regarding any material it's called standard okay again direct labor also actual here here also actual that means we are taking how much we are really going to incur as wages what whatever we are going to pay to labor who is going to work Uh, to produce the product okay so we are taking actual here here again we are taking budgeted very important table okay instead of reading all this paragraphs and all let me give you a very simple version and notion of this and explain you okay as they have also given the table uh, so we will see their table also and directly will enter into this question and then only the change comes here we are still actual we are still budgeted but here you also take budgeted okay the only thing is 
you see actual 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 budgeted 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 but actual actual budgeted this is the only key difference okay so like what is the meaning of this budgeted i'll be very clearly telling you and uh, please uh, follow this regarding normal costing let me give you some more details okay so direct material direct uh, labor whatever we have taken we have taken actual but uh, this overheads we have taken budgeted okay so how will you find out this uh, what is the meaning of this actually uh, like we will allocate the overhead cost on a standard rate determined by the budget so what is that standard rate we already know and we have already seen in the previous session standard rate is equal to budgeted overhead by budgeted labor hours or machine hours and this is also called as applied overhead what is that called applied overhead that means that means if i have to be clear the formula for normal cost would be is equal to direct material plus direct labor plus plus what is that standard rate into actual hours okay please write on this one so actual hours that means the rate is see what do you mean by budgeted budgeted is nothing here standard rate into standard hours here uh, like uh, actual rate into actual hours here standard rate into actual hours that means here i am speaking about actual overheads actual overhead budgeted overhead here i am speaking about applied overhead so applied overhead is nothing but standard rate into actual hours standard input for actual output okay please make a note of this anyone got any doubts can ask me and i am uh, for the sake of understanding this i am sending you a link uh, in your uh, phone okay okay i'll just post post that link on skype only so that you can easily understand okay once you write down this one then i'll explain that point okay all of you please uh, like tell me when you have done this hello 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 yes sir yeah okay okay, okay. so actual so you can take like this for actual costing you can take actual quantity into actual rate or actual hours into actual rate normal costing you can take actual quantity into standard rate that we have find found out or actual hours into standard rate standard rate okay rate is always predetermined standard i have explained this one and for standard costing standard quantity into standard rate or standard hours into standard rate okay please make a note of all this then i'll give you a link show the link to you
Sir, can you please scroll down? Yeah, yeah. Once done, please inform me. Hello. Okay. We're writing some points and then we'll discuss about this table and we'll go for a question. So basically, uh, like actual versus normal versus standard costing okay what is the uh, difference actual costing it's a costing method where the cost elements that is direct material direct labor and manufacturing overheads are recorded using actual amounts normal costing this is like costing that costing method that recognizes the inconvenience that means in actual we have to wait till the end and see what is that we are incurring in normal costing that means whatever the inconvenience you have, okay, the inconvenience of waiting, for the bills to record the overhead cost. That means why to wait for the bills uh, to record the overhead cost 
instead of that you you take the predetermined per unit uh, rate of overheads and multiply with the actual uh, like activity okay to get your applied overhead so as such only direct material and direct labor are recorded using actual amounts whereas manufacturing i am writing down actually here overheads is recorded using predetermined rate that means you will be taking standard rate and then into actual hours or activity okay and uh, uh, so predetermined rate is nothing but uh, you will you will be finding out this rate so budgeted overheads by budgeted hours labor hours or whatever okay and then for standard you will be like as you have seen like in the standard costing budgeted monetary amount of manufacturing overhead divided by budgeted activity level of allocation base that means the activity level also here is budgeted and uh, we have in here in normal costing in normal cost system direct material and direct labor costs are applied to production differently from the way they are applied in standard costing in normal costing direct material and direct labor costs are applied at their actual rates that means you take direct material and direct labor act actually you take actual okay multiplied by the actual amount of inputs used for production that means if you are making 1000 units into the direct material will give you actual cost like that metal cost okay actual rate multiplied by actual amount of inputs to allocate overhead a normal cost system uses a predetermined annual manufacturing overhead rate called a normal or normalized rate the predetermined overhead rate is calculated the same way the predetermined rate is calculated as standard costing however under normal costing the predetermined rate is multiplied by actual amount of allocation base that was used in producing the product whereas uh, like uh, under standard costing the predetermined rate is multiplied by amount of allocation base allowed for producing the product see allowed is what like how much limit they have given okay applied is what how much you are going to make that is what you are going to see so what we take we find out the standard rate and we multiply with actual hours to get the uh, like uh, rate to get the uh, like overhead amount correct so if we see this question we will we will clearly understand let's say uh, uh, things are see what where the things would differ we will see under normal costing how it goes before that let me show you this link so here we are so uh, paul is a plant manager at cars a lot a vehicle assembly plant assembling a vehicle takes three things direct material all the components of the vehicle like door seats and engine direct labor the people on the line who attach the components to the frame of vehicle overhead everything else needed to keep the plant running including electricity janitorial services security property taxes and paul's own salary as well as that of plant supervisor so this is over at indirect expenses all three of these items cost something the employees and overhead items need to be paid the components of vehicles were all purchased for cash or on credit 
now paul needs a way to attach these cost to vehicles his plant produces otherwise he will never know what price to sell them for of course so this these are we have we know three systems of costing to find out the product cost one is standard costing one is actual costing one is normal costing so we know about standard and uh, actual we are only seeing new thing that is normal so what happens let's see cars a lot uses normal costing to calculate the cost of production runs so normal costing method uses actual direct material and labor cost which i have already explained you while estimating the overhead costs uh, uh like uh, that way paul can use actual wages he pays his employees and the actual cost of components of a vehicle he will allocate the overhead cost based on standard rate determined by the budget that's what it is correct so first he adds up all of these those overhead items and divides that by number of budgeted labor labor hours which is his allocation base so the formula for standard rate looks like this standard rate for overhead is equal to budgeted overhead by budgeted labor hours let's see an example for example if paul's plant has 7 lakh 50000 of budgeted overhead and 50000 of budgeted labor hours so the so the standard rate would be 15 dollars now we will go somewhat forward paul is assembling 10 uh, jumbo sized trucks for a dealership in midwest he is going to use normal costing formula to calculate what it cost to produce them so material plus labor cost plus labor hours that is you should take actual labor hours <coughs> into overhead rate okay so now we will prove that this is the standard rate this is actual hours now paul knows from his inventory cost that 2 lakh worth of direct material are in those trucks so he took that 2 lakh and uh, uh, labor cost is like 51000 dollars he also knows that it took up over 1700 labor hours to assemble them so it took over that means actually how many hours they they have taken to uh, like uh, assemble 1700 so we take actual uh, actual hours into the standard rate which we have calculated 15 dollars we get normal cost okay so this is what if he knows this then he can add margin and he can sell the trucks now let's also prove ourselves with the help of this example example of standard costing normal costing and actual costing used for the same product under the same set of assumptions so before that this table can be seen see standard costing normal costing actual costing direct material labor Uh, standard rate but you know here actual rate actual rate okay so here you will see all actual actual here you will see standard standard so material labor application base uh, standard amount allowed for actual production actual amount used for actual production actual amount used for actual production <coughs> over and application rate predetermined standard rate normalized rate actual rate okay normalized rate predetermined standard rate is standard uh, like uh, rate that is budgeted rate by budgeted uh, like uh, overhead by budgeted hours actual overhead by actual hours uh, this is like you know the normalized rate so this normalized rate here they have given to allocate over a normal cost system uses predetermined annual manufacturing overhead rate called normal or normalized rate the predetermined rate is calculated the same way uh, it is calculated in a st standard costing however under normal costing that predetermined rate is multiplied by actual amount of allocation base that means actual activity whatever it is you calculate the standard rate and multiply with actual activity levels that we will see with the help of this this particular example you will you easily understand now so log see this is the question log homes for dogs ink manufacturers dog houses made from logs it offers only one size and style of dog house for the year 2004 the company planned to manufacture 20000 dog houses 
overhead is applied on the basis of direct labors and see this is the allocation base and the direct labor standard is two direct labor hours per dog house that means two labor hours are required to make one dog house okay that means two hours they work company's planned cost were as follows direct material cost is given this is planned cost so you should know this is standard direct labor variable overhead fixed overhead so this uh, like this is what 45 dollars per dog house is the direct metal five units of metal is required to make one dog house and nine dollar is per unit cost so standard rate of direct metal is nine dollars okay direct labor two two labor hours to make one dog house and 15 direct labor hours that means standard rate of labor uh, or uh, like uh, like for one hour the wa the wages paid to labor are 15 dollars okay variable overhead like you know variable oh, when, whenever i speak about overhead i would definitely uh, like uh, see per uh, like uh, like how many dollars of overhead we are incurring to make uh, a dog house okay for that they have given two direct labor hours are required to make a dog house and five dollar of direct labor hours that means you know if you want to find out see variable overhead or any overheads would be a lump sum cost total cost so to get per unit of that we have to divide by some allocation base so here allocation base is labor hours so five dollars uh, per direct labor hour that means a labor would work for one hour and the overhead what we are expending or the overhead what we are incurring for one direct labor hour is five dollars okay and fixed overhead is also given it's like two direct labor hour for one dog house 6.50 dollars per direct labor hour okay so the total fixed overhead is this now here this data is all right next data is lsd actually produced and sold these very dog houses so the actual cost incurred are what let us see so this data is also given so 5.25 units of direct material used per dog house this is actual see this is actual in actuality what they have seen so what is the standard they made plan they had they had a plan as per which the material was costing nine dollars to uh, per unit okay for one unit of uh, like dog house nine dollars worth of material they were using and they were using five units of material okay and the total cost was 45 to them here they they actually they have planned in this way but they used in actuality was they actually was 5.25 units of material they used for dog house and it costed them eight dollars and the cost is this much okay that's good no? so instead of nine dollars they were able to get uh, the material for eight dollars for one unit of a dog house uh, one in, like for, for making one dog house they got they use some raw material and one unit of raw material is costing them eight dollars it seems and they want 5.25 units of material to make a dog house okay and that the total cost is 8 lakh 82 thousand so 21 thousand into 5.25 is how much if you calculate please tell me 21,000 dog houses into 5.25 units into eight dollars 21,000 into 5.25 into eight so it will make it 8 lakh 82 thousand okay 21,000 dog houses they are making in actuality or actually this much uh, units of material are to be used and uh, per unit of material is costing them eight dollars in the same way uh, 2.1 direct labor hours are used for one dog house and 14 dollars of uh, labor hours 14 dollars uh, like they are incurring uh, for one
direct labor are if the labor is working okay so 14 dollars they are paying us wages to laborers who is working for one hour for making the dog house and 2.1 uh, direct labor are are in actuality used to make a dog house so we estimated how much two direct labor hours if the work, labor work for two hours that's enough but no he is to he should work for 2.1 direct labor hours and 2.1 into 21000 into 14 will give you 6,17,400. Variable over it and fix over it. I want you to read this part of question very clearly, and then we'll enter directly into our uh, three types of costing. Okay? Sure. Just read this summary. That those three costing methods will easily explain you what uh, what we have discussed. Done. Uh, if you are done inform me hello hello sir hello yeah done okay so now total cost applied under standard costing under normal costing under actual costing so you know standard costing we will take all the standard rate okay and also the budgeted uh, activity levels so the standard uh, so what is the standard rate and all they have given the planned cost so 9 dollars planned cost means standard 9 dollars per unit 15 dollars per labor hour 5 dollars per labor hour is all standard okay so 9 dollars standard cost and uh, into the direct material how many units are allowed actually five units okay so 9 fives are 45 into how many uh, what is the what, how much they have to uh, like uh, just a second yeah so we will take standard uh, input for actual output okay so like see they estimated something that they will make 20000 hours of course uh, 20000 units but in actuality they are making how much we are speaking about applied actually applied okay not allowed applied correct the difference between allowed and applied is allowed means how much they have given the uh, like uh, uh, like limits to you but you are using on what you are using on actual production am i right or wrong hello yes sir yeah of course you will be using standard standard input for actual output that's what so these are the standard inputs per unit wise and this is the actual output so we will multiply and see what is the cost i am incurring for 21000 see i have to compare the cost as per 21000 na so i got this much cost and uh, like uh, that what i did is 9 dollars into 5 units into 21000 okay 
is the boxes i have uh, the houses i have to make and i got this much cost and labor also this much and overheads this much and fixed also this much okay all data is given there i took that and i found out now you see in standard costing this is what is the case now in normal costing in normal costing i will take actual uh, like i will take actual material and actual labor hours am i right please tell me yes or no yes sir yes in standard i will take standard material standard uh, labor and in normal i will take actual material actual labor that is for understood fact that is that is known and also the actual output i will be taking so actual uh, rate is this and uh, actual output is this as we have seen here actually how much they are like incurring how many units they are using and we got the cost okay but but be very cautious at this overhead thing okay so what i am taking in overhead is please understand uh, like the difference i will write the difference here very clearly only overhead thing is what we need to see that's it nothing more than that uh, standard costing normal costing and actual costing overheads okay variable overheads and fixed overheads so here i took standard rate i took standard rate 5 dollar and 6.5 and i took uh, like uh, uh, the predetermined uh, rate is what here 6.5 no the predetermined rate is yeah 5 dollars and 6.5 that is the standard rate only correct yes. standard rate only na standard rate into uh, like uh, the uh, the standard or planned hours am i right so i will show standard rate into standard hours standard rate into standard hours correct in normal costing what we did is we took standard rate only am i right but we took what actual hours am i right or wrong yes sir yes yes yeah standard rate into actual hours actual in actual costing we will take actual rate into actual hours see so actual rate need not worry we can calculate uh, something they have given us working note here so you know in actuality we are making this many uh, boxes na and actual rate calculated as 2 lakh 24019 uh, where they have got this this is the overhead okay and uh, they will divide with actual uh, like output and they will get Uh, this one 10.71 per house divided by actual labor hours per house so they'll get 5.10 direct labor hour and 6 direct labor hour but we are not concerned with that they will take actual rate into into what actual hours correct so again actual rate into actual hours. actual rate into actual hours so what did we learn here standard 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 are same only what is the thing is here here actual 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 are the same that's it okay that means we took one from this one from this we made this finished and the rest of the question is very simple now so they have found out the cost per unit 45 for material 30 for uh, this thing uh, like direct labor here they have already calculated no? 45 30 10 and uh, 13 okay 13 why because like 6.50 direct labor hours and two direct labor hours allowed here uh, rate into 2.1 rate into 2.1 okay and this two would be taken for raw metal and labor here uh, this actual rate into actual hours actual rate into actual hours and this so you can see in all the costing this is the most expensive one this is the medial the like medium one in actual we are incurring this much okay so what we want we can find this uh, 
like once you can see this question madam i will move on one question is equal to all concept would be clear and you know this how we got this rate 5 dollars and 6.50 correct how did we get this rate 5 dollars and 6.50 6.50 and uh, 5 dollars they have already given to us correct or wrong yes sir they gave the standard rate only we have to multiply with actual cost that's it Please call on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last one. Last one. Yeah. The one which I have written. Yes, yes. This one. Okay, so this is done. So, like once you can go through these concepts, okay. Uh, just a second. So I have already written all the like points and everything regarding all this. So, uh, see if for variance uh, analysis, you know standard. and actual the difference between these two would definitely tell us about the variance correct we uh, we can find out material variance labor variance overhead variance and we can see uh, like favorable and adverse things correct so for uh, variance reporting it is very essential uh, like uh, that we know all this methods of costing okay and every see actual costing is what in actuality what you are incurring standard costing is what what you have estimated and predetermined and uh, then you can compare them and find out what is the variance correct and uh, so variances of course it's a different topic so 
uh, we have to discuss that already uh, zarina you know what is uh, we have done the variance analysis already so you may be in a better position to understand this concepts okay uh, so benefits and limitations of each uh, cost measurement system standard costing enables management to compare actual cost with that with the cost should have been for actual production okay so standard costing enables management to compare the actual cost with what cost should have been for actual production that means you estimated one and what you are seeing in, in going to see in the future you can compare that otherwise if standard costing wouldn't have been there then you would have only gone for actual so you did not you would not have had a base to compare what you have incurred and what you have estimated correct so uh, compare the actual cost which you are incurring with what cost should have been that means standard cost for actual production you understood na what cost should have been for actual production means the standard cost for actual production so you can compare the standard cost uh, you incur for actual production that means you are using 5 dollars as material you estimated actual production is 20000 let's say so you have standard cost standard uh, like rate and actual production so standard cost for actual production then you have actual cost for actual production you can compare and do the variance analysis it permits production to be accounted for as it occurs since standard cost are used to apply cost to units produced standard costing prescribes expected performance and provides control of course you can compare your estimation with your actual thing and you can see where you are going wrong it helps for judgment standard costing facilitates management by exception because as long as the cost remain within standards the yeah, managers can focus on other issues variances from standard cost alert managers when problems require attention which enables management to focus on those problems of course see once you have made a standard you know like you have to achieve that then actuality is see in actuality what is going to happen no one has answers for those questions what is going to happen is what should be near to the standard what we estimated limitations using a predetermined factory overhead rate to apply overhead cost to products can cause yeah see uh, see absorption costing and activity based costing you are always using one predetermined rate uh, to uh, the overheads okay so using a predetermined factory overhead rate to apply overhead cost to products can cause total overhead applied to units produced to be greater than actual overhead incurred when production is higher than expected so and overhead applied may be less than the amount incurred if actual production is lower than expected so if your actual production is more you have made you have a predetermined rate and your actual production is if very high than estimated then your overheads would be high the cost would be high if it is less it will be less so uh, like we are not getting a stable answer for this so what they are saying is using a predetermined factory overhead rate you know how to find out that why are you uh, like finding out the predetermined overhead rate if you have per unit overhead rate you can take that and you can multiply with the activity level and you can find out the overhead cost correct so rate to apply overhead cost to products can cause total overhead applied to units produced to be greater than actual overhead incurred when production is higher than expected of course so you expected something and you have a predetermined rate you multiplied that and you have a overhead cost estimated but if your actual production is more then that is so at that time you have you have a higher cost isn't it so and overhead applied may be less than the amount incurred if actual production is lower than expected if the variances from standards are used in negative manner for instance to assign blame employee morale suffers and employees are tempted to cover up unfavorable variances and to do things they should not do in order to make variances will be favorable so manipulation they are speaking about manipulation see laborers can do like if they get some losses or always things are going in adverse what they can do is they can manipulate and they can try to bring things in a favorable manner that is not good output in many companies are not determined by how fast the employees work but rather by how fast the machines work 
therefore direct labor quantity standards may not be meaningful the use of standard costing could lead to over emphasis on quantitative measures whether the variance is favorable or unfavorable and the amount of variance is not the full story yeah it's not the end okay there may be temptation on the part of management to emphasize meeting the standards of course you have to always see like you have to meet those standards and you always keep yourself in a very balanced run yourself in a balanced way so you uh, kind of don't explore more, like opportunities what come in your way because you have already set some standards in environments that are constantly changing setting standards may question the accuracy of setting the standards usefulness of usefulness of standard cost is limited to standardized processes the less standardized the process is the less useful standard cost are that more that's what it is so in this changing world of today we cannot keep things very much standardized normal cost in contrast the use of normal co costing avoids the fluctuations in cost per unit that occur under actual costing because of changes in month to month volume of units produced and in month to month fluctuations in overhead cost see what is what is normal costing doing very simply in actual costing you see things are changing always okay and actual rates are also differing but here your rate is fixed whatever the uh, like uh, fluctuations happen see what is standard normal actual standard rate into standard hours standard rate into actual hours actual rate into actual hours so here this actual hours you are taking and standard rate you are taking correct so the use of normal costing avoids fluctuation in cost per unit i'm speaking about per unit this is you have already fixed now this is changing see you can see that it's changing see it has become how much with your production levels uh, it has become see uh, 5.10 and 6 because of uh, the actual production you are doing correct but in normal costing this is always fixed am i right please tell me yes or no that is not going to change hello yes sir. hello yeah yeah and uh, the direct material and direct labor are like you know uh, like you take as per the actual so the use of normal costing avoids fluctuations in cost per unit that occur under actual costing because of changes in month to month volume of units produced and in month to month fluctuation in over cost manufacturing cost of job are available earlier under yeah because already you will take estimated cost only normal costing allows management to keep direct product cost current because actual material and labor cost incurred are used in costing the production while the overhead is already predetermined okay so while the actual overhead incurred is not available so yeah you always take predetermined rate using a predetermined factory overhead rate to apply overhead cost to products can cause total overhead applied to the units produced to be greater yeah you have already seen that uh, the this thing that when you have uh, like taken the actual cost but you have taken the predetermined overhead rate so you see uh, the cost you got is more correct here and here also you can see that uh, you are not doing any changes to this so 5 and uh, like here 6.50 uh, was the fixed overhead here it is 6 into 2.1 so you see you see the total product cost is like less and here it is more so under a predetermined factory overhead rate to apply overhead cost to products can cost total overhead applied to the units produced to be greater yeah because variable it was okay was less but fixed was more okay fixed was more here you can see the actual rate is 6 but the estimated one has gone to 6.50 so that's what they are saying using a predetermined factory overhead this can be variable and fixed combination to apply overhead cost to products can cost total overhead applied to units produced to be greater than actual overhead incurred can be yeah and we have seen that in the example also we can easily compare 
and that increases the cost and normal costing is not appropriate for process costing because actual cost would be too difficult to trace to individual units produced so it is used primarily for job costing only actual costing primary benefit is like you need not estimate all the cost and need not devote your time uh, like limitations are many because actual cost must be computed and applied information is not available always so you have to wait actual costing leads to fluctuations in job cost because the amount of actual load incurred fluctuates throughout the year like normal costing actual costing is not appropriate for process and uh, for job costing also we will start our concept from here tomorrow onwards okay and uh, we will finish this variable and absorption costing concept tomorrow then we can go for overheads uh, then we can finish joint product and by product and overheads process costing next two units okay thank you so much then we'll take the class two sir, which costing is uh, yeah this manufacturing sir which costing is is uh, suitable for manufacturing unit no any matter any yeah. costing you can take but for process costing especially process costing this no actual costing and normal costing would not be feasible okay. for job costing this to work okay okay because process costing you are making things in bulk job costing you are doing it for one one particular uh, unit wise correct yes. individually specifically okay see in in process costing what happens you have one thing see if there is a tailor here he 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 kind of uh, like make suit for one person specifically based upon his uh, his like measurements correct but you know in process costing they make for all the numbers in bulk so in this case uh, like uh, that would not be suitable actual costing and normal costing why because here the things are in bulk na bulk so you have to pre estimate and do here need not do all that you can directly you can uh, like on the on the spot what you are incurring you can you can tell them correct because it is only for one person you are doing otherwise all the systems can be used only for these two normal and uh, uh, this thing like would not be suitable here otherwise in other anything you can use any of the methods these are the methods to find out the cost of the product that's it okay to decide whether to manufacture or what to do to sell you have to know the cost now that's it okay any any more queries